What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we just finished our live stream reactions for Monday Night Raw on YouTube and Twitch. Shout out to everyone that joined us. As always, we always have a good time when y'all join us for the live stream reactions, man. And uh, I'm filming this two hours before my birthday, man. It's like 10 o'clock my time, like 10.09 as I'm filming this. So in two hours, it will be my 33rd birthday. So shout out to everyone that wished me a happy early birthday on the live stream. And, you know, I really do appreciate that. It's such a blessing to be able to have made it uh, to see 33 years of life, you know, uh, you know, you see it all the time. So many people, you know, don't make it that far. So the fact that I was able to, I give glory all to God and give him praise for allowing me to see 33 years of life and allowing me to be able to do this for a living, create content for a living that you guys enjoy. It, it's really, truly amazing. You guys are a part of my life as well. So uh, I just wanted to put that out there that my birthday is in a few hours and i'm very thankful and happy to have made it 33 years so we had a little mini celebration on the live stream and shout out to everyone they wish me a happy early birthday so uh you know i wanted to bring in um monday night raw and you know enjoy it with you guys on my birthday eve as they would say so uh thank you to everyone for the birthday wishes and stuff like that but we gotta talk about what happened on the show the most noticeable stuff that happened on tonight's show uh they started off with randy orton uh um having a, a little promo segment from recounting what happened last week randy orton comes out there huge ovation from the crowd and he was basically saying you know um Gunther made it personal when he brought up my grandfather. When he brought up my father, he made it personal and he turned his back on me. And the one thing you don't do is turn your back on me because then you get hit with the three deadliest letters in all of professional wrestling, the RKO. Gunther comes out there. Gunther's obviously not happy. He's like, man, you hit the RKO on me. You know, while my back was turned, you know, how, you know, basically trying to shun him for doing that. And it's like, you know, you're so talented, but, you know, you you've wasted it. And at Bash of Berlin, um, I'm going to beat you bloody. So he's talking about trying to make Randy bleed at Bash in Berlin. We'll see if he lives up to those words. But he said, I'm going to beat you bloody and you're not going to hit the RKO on me at any point like you're not hitting the rko on me no more they're teasing it obviously because he is going to get hit with the rko don't know if it's going to be you know part of the finish but he is going to get hit with it once again um so after that randy was like you know what there's a long flight uh from berlin you know it's, it's a long flight from there when it's all said and done my size 15 boot is going to be stuck up your ass on that flight and it's a 15 wide. I was like, whoa, you ain't have to get descriptive with it. Damn, we get it. You're going to stick your size 15 boot up a Gunther's ass or whatever. Cool. All right. So Gunther said he had enough of the shenanigans. He put the title down. He's like, let's go. You want to go? But it was all a trap because Ludwig Kaiser, shout out to Samantha, the way she, he says his name. It's fucking hilarious. I love it. It adds, adds a little flavor to his uh his entrance. But Ludwig Kaiser comes in there and attacks Randy Orton from behind. Randy Orton tries to get the upper hand, but obviously the number game gets involved and he ends up getting knocked down and taken out temporarily for his troubles. They ultimately end up setting a match for um uh the main event of the night, Ludwig versus um uh, Randy Orton. So We'll talk about that later on in this uh, Monday Night Raw review. Uh, next, we got to talk about the whole Drew and CM Punk situation and what's about to happen at Bash in Berlin. So they, they right before they go to commercial break, they you see CM Punk walking in the back and he has a strap around him. So you already knew there was no guessing what the next match was going to be. They come back from commercial break. CM Punk comes out there. He lets everybody know, you know, how good it feels to be uh, out there in Fort Lauderdale. Uh, that's where the Monday Night Raw was at tonight. And he was talking about all the people that he met 
over the weekend at the Fanatics convention, and he was talking about some of the special people he met, like someone who was, you know, rolled up to him in a wheelchair, got up and hugged him and let him know that they defeated cancer, and some of the people that flew so far away, you know, to meet CM Punk and take a picture with him, like he was very thankful, and he had a whole bunch of bracelets, and I saw a lot of wrestlers, they had a whole bunch of bracelets, like handmade bracelets made by fans, kind of like the one CM Punk initially had with AJ Lee and uh, his dog um, Larry on there that now Drew is uh, wearing all the time so it was cool to see that but it was a nice you know it was cool for him to bring up these nice wholesome moments wholesome things but then it turned the way he transitioned it into hate beautiful because he's all right enough of the good stuff now let's get to the hate and the hate is exactly what he was talking about when it came to uh, his issues with drew and he's like you know what this guy is obsessed with me uh he's walking around with a bracelet of my wife and my dog on there and he says he's not he's done with me but he's obsessed with me so instead of you know since you want to walk around with a bracelet or whatnot I talked to Adam Pierce, and we're gonna have go ahead and have us a strap match. If uh, if Drew is not scared, we'll have us a strap match, and we'll be tethered to each other. So that way, you can't you can walk around with me in this ring, and I, I'm looking forward to. It. I know it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be entertaining. Not fun for them, but fun for us to watch and entertaining. It's gonna be brutal. I can't wait to see it. Obviously, Drew comes out there. And he, you know, he's he's talking about what happened last week. You, you know, you whooped me like a dog. You know, I didn't appreciate that or whatnot. But you want to have a, a a strap match with me? Look at me, like CM Punk. You, this is what you want to do. I've been trying to think of ways to get back at you, but that's what you want to do. Cool, fine, I accept. But we don't have to wait till that. We can do this right now just put down that strap and let's go i'm gonna tear you apart i'm like all right jim was like all right cool he was about to put down the strap but then he was like no how about this how about i'll give this strap to you if you give me the bracelet and it looked like drew was thinking about it and he's like nah come on punk I don't believe you. I, I don't. You lied last week saying you weren't going to be here. Who's to say I give you the bracelets and then you don't whoop me again like you did last week with my own belt? So, no, I'm going to keep them with me. After all, your wife and your dog, they're much safer at home with me than with you. I was like, oh, Drew is just digging a hole deeper and deeper for himself. Doesn't even realize it. Either way, they didn't put, they didn't fist, uh, you know, fists didn't start flying, straps didn't get thrown or nothing like that. They stayed away from each other for now. Can't wait to see that match. It's going to be fun. Drew and CM Punk, best feud right now in WWE. Best feud in wrestling, honestly, in my opinion. Uh, it's one of the top feuds. It's just so good. The emotion, the personal beef they have with each other, the hatred. It's beautiful. So, um, there is a, uh, a, a segment, a backstage, a segment where, um, Damian Priest and Rhea Ripley, the Terra twins talking about what they're going to do, um, uh, to, um, the rest of the judgment day and how they're going to take care of business at Bash in Berlin. Great promo package of them just kind of in this backstage area, just kind of letting it be known. At, at Bash in Berlin, they're going to destroy the lame-ass group in the Judgment Day. And then there's a package similar to theirs with uh, Liv Morgan and, and and Dominic Mysterio. And basically, um, Dominic's talking about how he's going to, you know, going to take care of them at Bash in Berlin. But they ended up making a match. Dom wanted a match with uh, Damian Priest one-on-one, -on -one, no interference, nobody get involved uh, later on that night if he was, you know, man enough. And, you know, Rhea kind of co-signing it as well. So there's a, it was another segment where Damian Priest is talking to Rhea. They're also in the back, not a promo, like a video, a video package per se, but they're talking. And Damian's like, I know it's a trap, but that's okay because I get to get my hands 
on Dominic anyway. And that's essentially what happened. Dominic came out there first. Damian Priest comes out there. The rest of the Judgment Day try to jump him before the match. Ultimately, Damian Priest uh, starts packing them up one by one. And I love that they've been teasing the fact there is a steel chair involved. And Damian Priest is about to crack uh, <laughs> Finn Balor's skull wide open. But it's always a Judgment Day member that gets involved to save Damien, well, to save Finn Balor from Damien Priest actually getting his hands on him. I love that. They're teasing and building that up. So when Damien Priest finally gets his hands on Finn Balor, it's going to be that much more um, enjoyable to watch. Um, the number game started to, you know, well, actually, at the beginning, Damien Priest was holding his own, but then Dominic's in the ring, like, looking like, you know, uh oh, what have I done after he dispatched everybody else? Damien gets in the ring, but Rhea's right behind him. And Dominic turns around. Rhea uh, hits him with a headbutt. And he's about to send uh, uh, Dominic uh, to the gulags uh, after the headbutt. Because then that's when uh, they decide to take clear off the table. Clear off the table. And she's like, hey, give Dominic to me after she hit the headbutt. Give Dominic to me after she cleared off the table. I'm going to put this scumbag through the table. Crowd's going crazy. Dominic's about to get uh, put through the table by Rhea Ripley. And all of a sudden, Liv out of nowhere hits Rhea with the chair shot. Starts attacking Rhea. Then the rest of the Judgment Day starts stomping on Damian Priest in the background. And... Man, Rhea just keep getting thrown in the steel steps in the steel post, you know, um, targeting her shoulder that she, you know, recently just got injured. Liv looked uh, pretty vicious out there. And all the while, Damian Priest was held up against the ropes to watch as Liv destroys uh, um, Rhea Ripley over and over and over. Then they uh, set up um, uh, Damian Priest. Uh, to get hit with the coup de gras by Finn Balor. Then they set him up again to get hit with the frog splash from uh, Dominic Mysterio. And they uh, Liv ends up hitting Rhea with her finisher off the ropes. And they drag their carcasses, <laughs> their, their lifeless bodies in the middle of the ring and pose. This is uh, the Judgment Day's, you know, their chance to take out the Terra Twins. And they cut a promo package backstage saying... What you thought, what just happened now is just a little taste. We're going to destroy you guys at Bash in Berlin. Can't wait to see that match, man. It, it made sense. The Terra Twins, you know, in a losing effort this time this week. Because you want, you want the Judgment Day to still look somewhat strong in comparison to these two individuals. So, obviously, the numbers game got, uh, you know, kind of got the best of them. And, you know, it gives Judgment Day a little bit of more mo more momentum going into Bash in Berlin against the Terra Twins. So, uh, it, it, you hate to see it, but you, you know, it made sense that the Judgment Day got some type of uh, offense in and was able to, you know, handle up on the Terra Twins for now. And then we can also talk about the main event. The main event uh went on uh it was an okay match it was a solid match none too crazy but hey before we get to the main event we got to talk about Bronson Reed I, I forgot to mention this Bronson Reed had a no disqualification match against The Miz and Adam Pearce approved this granted The Miz won this match Adam Pearce should have been like no he's been murdering people before the no DQ I don't think you need to do this, but Miz is out there trying to do this for our truth in his honor or whatnot. Uh, it was an okay match, solid match, nothing too crazy. But ultimately, uh, Bronson Reed got the win there. And as the match ended, as we um, were predicting, uh, the Miz was about to eat, uh, meet the, the gulags with Seth Rollins and our truth because um, Bronson was about to go to the top rope and start tsunamiing this guy into oblivion. But that's when um, Braun Strowman music hit. He comes down to the ring and he's like, yo, what's up? Pick on somebody your own size. You ready to fight? Let's go. But they, it didn't happen. Bronson Reed kind of backed off. And I do believe they're going to have a match. Bronson Reed versus Braun Strowman next week. That should be interesting. We'll see how that plays out. But, uh, yeah, 
the Miz was spared tonight. So the Miz should think uh, praise to the heavens that he wasn't sent to the gulags like our truth and Seth Rollins. So we had to talk about that. Love what they're doing with Bronson Reed. We'll see how things play out uh, going into next week's Monday Night Raw. Love what they're doing with Bronson Reed. Now we can get into the main event. Randy Orton versus Ludwig Kaiser. Um, okay, solid match. Uh, midway through, Gunther comes out there. He doesn't do anything, but he provides that distraction for Ludwig Kaiser, and he starts targeting Randy's knee uh, halfway through the match. Um, but ultimately, uh, Randy Orton was able to hit that patented RKO on Ludwig, got the pin for the one, two, three, and dispatched of him. Then, as the show was going off, it was literally one minute left, Randy... Uh, figuratively draws the line in the ring and says get your ass in here Gunther Gunther says fuck it they get in there and they start fighting I'm talking about they throwing blows brawling and one of the last things you see is Randy Orton throwing Gunther right into the steel ring post before they cut the, uh, the feed because they ran out of time ah it's a three hour show there's no reason why we should be running out of time on that last segment that's all I'm saying. It's a three-hour show. They ran out of time. So we didn't even really get to see all of the brawl. I'm sure they'll probably upload the rest of it on YouTube. But hey, I love Gunther as a heel champion. He's not scared. He Randy called him out, and guess what he did? He said, fuck it, and went in there and started fighting him. I can appreciate that. That I can appreciate him as being a fighting heel champion that's not afraid of nobody. I don't think I've ever seen Gunther have fear on his face. No one's actually at, I haven't seen it yet. He just has this demeanor of calm or whatever. And he's like, oh, you challenged me? All right, fuck it. Even when he lost to Sammy, you know, he was being cocky. And that's why he lost. He was being arrogant, disrespecting his wife at front row who was watching the match. He was being arrogant and he lost. He wasn't even afraid. It's crazy. So, love what they're doing with that. Can't wait to see that match. It's pretty obviously, most likely, Gunther will retain, as he should. He shouldn't have a, a short title reign, so he will retain. But either way, I enjoyed what they did there. I just wish we had more time to actually see it. Um, but, yeah, that's Monday Night Raw. Nothing too crazy. Uh, some things have progressed. Uh, some storylines have progressed. Uh, we also um, will be seeing... Um, Uncle Howdy going against Chad Gable one on one next week, so I'm looking forward to that as well. That should be a fun time as well. So, but yeah, overall decent show. Um, more matches have been set up and more storylines are are playing out. Comment down below. Let me know what was your favorite part of Monday Night Raw, and uh, what are y'all looking forward to? Like which match that has been listed so far? Y'all looking forward to the most? at Bash in Berlin next week. And once again, thank you to all the happy birthday wishes uh, from the live stream. I really do appreciate y'all. Once again, 33, li 33 years of life is truly amazing. It's truly a blessing. I'm very thankful. Praise God. Glory be to God for allowing me to live this long and, and to be able to do what I love for you guys. It's truly a, a blessing. But I uh, appreciate all love and support. Road to 150K. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. See y'all next one. Peace.